in an elite group. Exactly why is this race so special? To give us his unique perspective, NASCAR broadcasting legend and 2016 Landmark Award nominee Ken Squire explains. On February 22nd, 1959, that very first Daytona 500 became a reality. The checkered flag, the race is over. It was more than just a race. It marked a new beginning for motorsports in the United States. It was also the continuation of a tradition that began in the early days of the 20th century, Speed Weeks in Daytona Beach, Florida. In the beginning, auto pioneers needed a flat, smooth place. Nature had provided that first speedway along the Atlantic shore between Ormond and Daytona. It brought pioneers along with entrepreneurs desiring to take the novelty of the automobile and build something out of it. Daytona became the world's most famous beach. The Daytona 500 focus through all of the years has not changed. It's brought doers and takers, followers and leaders each February to what is now declared the world center of racing. Land speed records were established, tragedies were recorded. That attraction of sun and sand now leads to this annual migration drawn by the compelling search for better, faster cars and heroes. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane. This is the greatest time I've ever had in Victor Lane right here. This is it. The 500 brings men and women willing to tempt and hopefully master fate. It's a phenomenon that might have died in the 30s had it not been for William Howard Getty France. Pretty fair racing driver, filling station operator at Halifax and Maine, a mechanic who turned himself into a sports leader of men and empire builder who had a simple formula based on the American interest in cars and the people who drove them. No, strike that. It was the people who raced them. That was the France equation. Settle in, boys. All right, guys, let's be on our toes all day. It still stands today in this 500, man against man, with the common denominator, the machine. Stay in it, stay in it. We got turned in there, guys. Not just any machine, not just any driver. The 500-mile contest comes down to the very best the sport has to offer. Just put a large number on the side of the car and let the United States cheer for their choice. <laughs> Unbelievable! Does it work? <laughs> well, stay tuned, because come Sunday, 43 of them will be parked, poised, ready for the 57th running of the great American race. I'll tell you what, I could listen to Ken Squire all day long. That's why Ken Squire is the best right <laughs> there. That piece is why it's all what it's all about. All right.